What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video on youtube.com slash VGC. Um, I'm really excited for today's video. Uh, I am joined by the wonderful Alpharad. Hi, Hello. that's me. Hello. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. First of all, I want to say thank you. Um, I've gotten a ton of new subscribers and a lot of new um, interest in po competitive Pokemon, and a lot of that is because of you and your shout-out. So um, shout out to everyone who's here from Alpharad. Uh, but today, yeah. I'm super excited because we're going to be doing something that I've, I've had requests for in the past, um, and I, I've never really... I haven't done it yet, I don't think, unless I'm forgetting the past, but um, <laughs> a lot of people have asked me to go through and do a series where I teach someone who is like familiar with Pokemon and um, you know has played through the main series games and stuff, but isn't super familiar with competitive Pokemon. Um, He's gonna turn me from an idiot to less of one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna title this um, <laughs> "Making Alpha Rad World Champion." I think. <laughs> I mean, I already have a Dracovish, so you're pretty much set, honestly. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so basically, the premise is. Like, Alpharad's played Pokemon, but isn't, like, super familiar with, like, a lot of competitive stuff, so I'm just gonna do my best at kind of explaining it. I'm gonna show him the team, um, because I think it's good to start learning just with one set team, um, and, yeah, we'll just go from there. We'll play a couple games where he gets to choose the move, and we can talk moves, and then we can talk through, like, decision-making and kind of, like, Pokemon can seem really overwhelming, so my goal is to break it down and make it seem, like, more, like, show that it's more simple than it looks. It just involves, like... It's like high um high barrier to entry, but once you're over that and once you kind of know what most Pokemon are gonna do, it becomes a lot simpler to break down the problem. So, yeah, um, I think that's it. Oh yeah, we're almost at 100k, which is actually <laughs> ridiculous. Um, my Woo! birthday, my, yeah, I know. Um, it's yeah, it's been <laughs> crazy. Um, my birthday is Friday, so I'm hoping to hit hoping to hit it by then. But if not. It's when does this video good. go up? Because you probably have 100k by then. Uh, well, <laughs> I think this, I think honestly, I don't have one for this evening. So I was, if it's cool with you, I was gonna post it like, oh yeah, go yeah, for it right after. So, um, so yeah, right after recording this. So, uh, we'll see. But anyway, um, let's go through the team. So, uh, this is the team that I've been using on on Battle Spot in general. Um, mm -hmm. it is Arcanine, Lucario, Braviary, Grimmsnarl, Whimsicott, and Fish, Dracovish. That's his name. Um. When you look at all six of these Pokemon together, it can seem like a little bit confusing, right? Um, like I they're... played with your team a little bit in that one video, but mm -hmm. I already start to like understand the synergy between people like Dracovish and then Whimsicott, mm -hmm. and then uh, Whimsicott and Lucario too. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, so I'm just gonna I'll I'll just tell you the way that this team works in my brain, and then we can see if that makes sense to you. So. Um, Basically, there's six Pokemon here, but competitive VGC is interesting because it's you only bring four Pokemon each battle. Meaning, yeah, I think that's such a sick mind game. Right? That's yeah. Such a, oh, I love that. It's really cool, and it, it it makes it like it makes the game very interesting because you have to leave some of your Pokemon behind every single game, and so does your opponent. So it makes it like this very interesting, very complex um, mind game. So something that I think is really helpful is not to think of this as a team of six, but as like cores of four Pokemon, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the, I see that. so the first core we'll talk about is one you're kind of familiar with already, which is Lucario Whimsicott as the lead. Mm -hmm. The idea here is that Whimsicott is really good at setting up Tailwind, and Tailwind effectively doubles all of your Pokemon speed stats for four turns, um, which is really good for Lucario, who's like not that fast. And then wait, it doubles the speed stat? Yeah, so it applies a plus what? two status, and yeah, it doubles okay. all of your team speed stat. That's why it's so wait. good. So whenever people say like plus one plus two, is that increments of fifty percent? Kind of. So that's a little bit complicated, but the way that it works is your plus, your stats start out as like plus zero, minus zero, however you want to think about it. Like yeah, and that fraction is a times. It's um, it, it's two over two. It's the fraction two over two. Um, and when you get a, a boost to your stat, which is like let's say plus one, then it, you add one to the so top. So it's three over two. Exactly, and a minus is plus Ew. one to the bottom, so it's two over three. Um, okay. so the first, oh, so plus okay, one, interesting. exactly. So plus one is a 50% increase, but plus three is five over two. So it's not, it's, um, I guess, yeah, actually, I guess, yeah, it is a 50% increase for, for pluses every time. So that's, I did not realize it was that drastic. Oh my God. Exactly. So plus like people often think like people are like, oh, plus two is two times. So plus four is mm -hmm. four times, but it's not the case. It's actually plus four is three times because it's six over two, which is three. Mm hmm. I get it now. But Tailwind is like its own separate thing, and it like it if just plus applies... six is like the max, right? Plus six is the max. Yeah, if something up, if you are at plus six and you're attacking or for bulk, you're like you're in a good position if something's at plus six most of the time. Um, <laughs> um, so Tailwind is a separate thing, and it says take it, it just takes whatever your speed stat is for each of your Pokemon and multiplies it by two. 
Um, That's wild. And it's really good in double battles because it works for the partner. And this year, and this didn't work in the last games, but it applies it immediately. So if Whimsicott uses Tailwind, Lucario automatically gets the double speed boost, like in the same turn, which is really cool. Um, mm-hmm. So do you have any questions so far? I'm, I'm going to talk less. I'm going to explain this whole thing. I'm going to talk a lot at the beginning. Oh, and then no, I, more, I'm uh... following. So then, okay. like, if, if you're all about speed, we're like, then the counterplay is to find things like Eldgoss, who, like, has, what is, what is it, Cotton Spore? Cotton Effect Down? Score? Yeah. Cotton Down? Something yeah. like that. So speed is a really big mechanic in Pokemon, and the reason for that mm-hmm. is if, let's say, we're, we're playing and you're moving first, if you mm-hmm. knock out one of my Pokemon, like... If nobody oh. takes any knockouts, then everybody gets to attack, right? But if you KO one of my Pokemon before I get to attack, then, like, that's a wasted resource, you know? Yeah, you get an extra turn. It's just, okay, I'm following the resource management aspect of exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. So that's is why it speed, is... like, dynamic now? Does that's change, exactly like, right. Mid-turn? That's exactly right. So that's what, I was, that's what I was saying with Tailwind. That's why Tailwind is even better this generation, because in the pa- for my entire life, for our entire lives, ex- up until this year, um, speed... And people... I'm glad I'm explaining this, because I haven't really done it properly, and... Mm-hmm. I've, Excuse me, every video I get like 10 comments like, what, how did speed change? And I'm like, I like don't want to devote a whole video to this. But so the way that it used to work was we lock in our moves, right? And mm-hmm. whatever order, whoever was fastest at the beginning of that turn, like what, like the turn order was set before, even before any switches, that was the turn order. So let's say, do you know about like Swift Swim, which like doubles a Pokemon speed in the rain? In the rain, yeah. Exactly. So let's say you have like a rain Pokemon or a Swift Swim Pokemon like Ludicolo on the field. Is weather big in this generation? Weather looks to be pretty big. Sand is really good because of Excadrill. Rain has a chance. All, all the weathers have a chance, I think. Um, and you can also set weather manually. Uh, but I know Frank was really big into it in like Gen 5, so mm-hmm. I know a lot of the weather stuff. Yeah, that well, actually, this reminds me a lot of Gen 5 in a lot of ways with like... Because Polito Ludicolo was good, or Polito Kingdra technically, but Polito Ludicolo was good, and Excadrill was really big back in Gen 5. Um, but, so if you have a Pokemon like, let's say Ludicolo, right, and we're in rain, in the past, if I switched in like Tyranitar or Torkoal or something that changed the weather, your Ludicolo mm-hmm. would still move first, even though the rain was no longer on the field, even though the change happened before Ludicolo got to attack. That's different this year. So now, like you were saying, it's, it's calculated dynamically. So... If my so the example here is if Whimsicott uses Tailwind and you have a Pokemon that's faster than Lucario but slower than Lucario and Tailwind, now Lucario gets to move first mm-hmm. because the speed updated mid turn. Does that make sense? No, I'm following. Yeah, and and so the reason why Tailwind is so big, if you will we'll peek ahead a little bit, Braviary also has Tailwind, um, is because of the fish. So this team was originally kind of built around the fish. And yeah. as you know, the fish is super strong if it attacks first with that first attack called Fish's Rend. And it's like a base power of like 573 with all the gimmicks involved. Yeah, it's at least, yeah, it's it's like a 2.2, or it's like 1.5 for strong jaw, 1.5 for choice band on a 170 base power move with another 1.5 for stab. It's, I don't, it's, it's very, very, very strong, <laughs> Jordan. Um, you don't want to so get So since he that. has choice band, do you ever really use other moves than Fish's Rin for him? When the opponent has a Gastrodon, I do. Um okay <laughs> but because gastron draws in all water type attacks and makes it useless but for the most part even if it's not very effective i'll still use fish's rand almost all the time um the so other if they really send matter. out gastrodon like second mm-hmm. do you do you are you conscious with it and don't use fish's rand at the beginning or do you just switch out um i normally am cautious of it because yeah, because um, because we're choice banned, we can't switch moves. So yeah, if they switch in Gastrodon and we're locked into Fish's Ren, that's like really bad for us because then we have to switch out just to like be able to use a different attack. So and switching out is something you never want to do unless you have to. Well, switching I out can assume. be good. Switching out isn't that bad. Um, like it can be switching out is is not as bad as it seems. However, mm-hmm. like it's if they know that you have to switch out, then it becomes then it becomes super predictable. So in that case, gotcha. you don't you don't want to do it. So when I see Gastron, I'm always focusing that down first. I'm always trying to get rid of it if I have the fish. Um, yeah, which I normally do. So um, yeah, so Whimsicott sets Tailwind, which is good for the whole team, and it's especially good for the fish. Um, Whimsicott also uses Beat Up, and if Whimsicott uses Beat Up on Lucario, then it gets plus four. So quick review: uh, how much how much of a multiplier is that if we get do plus four to Lucario? Uh, okay, okay, so plus four to Lucario, right? Yes. So that would be six over two, so it's times three. Exactly. So Lucario becomes three times stronger <laughs> from Got that it. one combination. Uh, so that okay. was like, that's the first kind of main core here. We have Lucario Whimsicott up front. Lucario punches big holes in the team with like big damage attacks. Um, yeah. 
You normally Dynamax Lucario here to give it extra survivability because that doubles the health. And then. So, what exactly does Dynamaxing do in terms of stats? Right. So, Dynamaxing doesn't change the stats at all, except it, it changes the HP to make it. Tw gives it twice as much health, basically. Yeah. So. I just noticed that. I just didn't know how it affected stats, but it's just health. So, it's like. He's more defensive because he has more health, but not because he has higher defensive stats. Exactly. Like, the, since health affects both, like. Since when you take damage, you take it away from your health. Doubling your health, like, doubles your survivability, De basically. Technically. I get you now. Yeah, okay. it's not like a literal... He's not literally, like, more defensive. He's more healthy, I guess. But, yeah, that's um, that's the way to think of it. There's some it. overlap there. Exactly. Because, yeah, because okay. HP and the defenses are how you calculate survivability, I guess. Um, so, the other thing about Dynamax that we don't really have to get into is max moves, um, mm -hmm. which have unique effects. The only one we'll really talk about is... Braviary's max moves are really good because it's it flying type raises speed and fighting raises attack for you and your partner. Um, mm, wow. Part of the reason why I think this year is going to be so good for VGC is there's so many cool combinations you can do. So um, going back to, I'm actually glad we talked so much about speed. So um, let's say Braviary is like going first here. And Braviary is... Also, I yeah. have one very elementary question. Yeah, no, hit me. What does the C in VGC stand for? Uh, video game championships. <laughs> Okay, that's what I thought, but yeah. I, I always just heard it so blanket, so I never yeah. knew. Sorry, thank you for asking, because I'm sure, guys, look, in the comments, <laughs> I know mo I know most of you didn't know. It's okay, but, <laughs> yeah. Like, I know VGC is the video game, and then TCG is the card game. Right. Like, I know the difference, but I never knew the acronym. And it's confusing, because TCG, like, the C is in the middle, so it's because it's, like, trading yeah. card game, so it's, like, video game one. Trading what? champion. Yeah. <laughs> trading game champions, uh, championships, but, Yeah. Anyway, um, sorry, I know this is taking a while. We're almost there. Um, no, I, I'm enjoying it. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> um, so, max flying. So, when we Dynamax Braviary, and in this team, we normally Dynamax Lucario or Braviary. Um, so, this is just a quality of life question. Yeah. Um, I haven't really messed around with the G-Max too much. So, yeah. if are they unique moves per typing or per Pokemon? Per Pokemon. So, there's certain... Okay. So And also, and per the current rule set, which I think will change because we don't have the official rules, but per the current rule set, Gigantamax Pokemon are not allowed. So, we, you don't have to worry about oh. those right now. Um, okay. Yeah. Can you use them online? Well, you can use, like, it, like against friends, yes, but we're going to be playing on the ladder. and it, like, Oh, and you the, can't on the ladder. On the rule set that we're playing. I'm actually not sure if there are other rule sets that allow it, but at least not on mm -hmm. ours. But I think that, I have okay. a feeling that will change. But for now, we're fine. Um, How often do they ever, like, change the rule set on ranked play? So, it's just, it's just because the game is out early um, that we don't have, like, a rule. Or, like, it's the... It's not the game is out early, but because the game hasn't been out gotcha. for that long. Yeah, so normally, like, last year in VGC was unique, where we had three rule sets for the whole year, but every other year there's mm -hmm. been one or two, basically, um, for the year. So you basically play okay. one different rule set a year, which keeps the game interesting because it changes every year. Um, That's fun. Yeah, so it's really interesting. So... Yeah, so, okay, we talked about when was the caught Lucario with fish in the back, and then the other mode is Braviary Grimmsnarl. Braviary mm -hmm. is similar to Whimsicott in that it, it's like a, it's here to provide speed control, um, but it's more offensive. So, like I said, you can raise your speed with Tailwind. You can also Dynamax and raise you and your partner's speed with Brave Bird, um, or Z Brave Bird, or Max Brave Bird, Max Flying, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, Braviary is cool because uh, its ability protects your team against Intimidate, which is an ability that used to be really common. We don't have to get too much into it, but basically if any of Braviary's stats are lowered, it becomes much stronger. Uh, so it's a good Pokemon to have around. And then Grimmsnarl is super supportive. So do you know about like Reflect and Light Screen? I do. Okay, cool. So Grimmsnarl has those, and it also has Thunder Wave, which controls the speed as well. So yeah, we have three Thunder Pokemon here. Does Thunder Wave, like, does Paralysis half speed? It used to quarter it, now it halves. Okay. Exactly. Um... Yeah, and Grimmsnarl has an ability called Prankster, which says if he uses anything that doesn't do damage, aka all of his moves except for Play Rough, which is just a regular attack, um, he goes first. So you get to oh. say, that's why he's really good. So we've trained ours to be super see. bulky. Um, and yeah, sorry, just to talk about the EV. So a lot of these Pokemon, you see 252 in the EV spread. Um, mm -hmm. That is maximum. So the most EVs you can put into any stat, one singular stat is 252. Um, so... Yeah, so if you see 252 in a stat, which I think everything on this team is actually 252 in a stat, just because it's better that way when you're, like, starting out. Before and then you... when you have, like, um, four as the other number thrown in there, is yeah. that just you, you different have... units? 
It's the so you have five hundred and eight total stat points, but you can't put more than two hundred fifty two in any one stat. So if you oh, add, okay. you, you always have four left over. So we could we could do like one hundred and eighty speed, for example, or one hundred eighty EVs mm-hmm. in any one stat, and then we'd have it close to I think it's, it's 76. just the overflow of it. Exactly, but it, it's yeah. So it's like it's it's just because we're doing max max basically that when you do max max, there's always four left over. But if we were doing more complicated EV spreads, then it wouldn't be like four always. It would be like okay. seventy six or something like that. That makes way much more sense than I expected. Yeah, it's it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like it's one of those things where there's so much going on and it just seems so complicated. But it, it's mm-hmm. not as bad as it seems. I promise. Um, so yeah, so once more, Whimsicott, Lucario, op- strong, open with so, a lot of damage. Yeah. One question: If you were to pick any random Pokemon in your box, yeah, how can you tell what the EV spread is of it? So let's go to let's go to check summary, um, and it's not as helpful as I would like. But you see here, there's like mm-hmm. stats. If I hit, I believe it's X. Um, so you see how attack and speed are sparkling. Yeah, that means they're maxed out. And if you, it's kind of hard to see on. I wonder if it's easier to see on a different Pokemon. So mm-hmm. there's like kind of like a thin. I'm not sure what you can see. There's like a. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. Um, mm-hmm. There's like a very. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not good with technology. Um, there's a very thin arrow pointing to where the stats are like distributed. Uh, it's like this light yeah. green. Oh, I hit X again. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, so that that tells you how it is. You can't. If you were like, if you, it, it's the game doesn't tell you that much. What I would do is I would use a calculator, uh, like a damage calculator, mm-hmm. and just plug in like plug in the stats themselves because the stats that you can see on the right there, um, will tell you like, they will tell you. Um, if you know your IVs, which is another yeah. thing we don't really have to get into, but I, th- I think you know about. Um, yeah, I played a lot of Fire Emblem Heroes, so like using stat calculators makes sense to me. Right. Yeah. You just have you basically just plug it into a stat calculator, and it, once you know your IVs, you know roughly where it is. You can also um, there's a trick where everything is easier at level 100, so you can always like level up a Pokemon to level 100, and then not save your game. Just like level up to level 100, check the stats, and then reset. Um, mm-hmm. So, which is easier now given XP candy? They're so nice. Yeah, like you can do it in a second. It's really nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's been a ton of quality of life improvements here, so that's been cool. Um, <clears throat> anyway, that's pretty much it. So we have Braviary, Grimmsnarl, Fish, and then one more for our first team, and then Whimsicott, Lucario, mm-hmm. Fish, and one more for the second team. This team is not perfect. We don't really bring Arcanine very often. Um, I didn't talk about him because he's the weak link, so I have to figure out what to put in this slot that will overlap with both like modes but that's pretty much it honestly um any do you have any more questions or um was there anything Wait, so yeah intimidate i guess this is much stronger than i initially expect as an ability because then if it makes it two over two to one over two it makes it two correct? over three so it's two over oh yeah it increases the denominator exactly okay so yeah it lowers it by 33 percent mm-hmm. okay Exactly. Wow. And it's so there's attack and there's special attack. Most of the Pokemon on this team use their physical attack. Whimsicott is the mm-hmm. only exception, but that's it, that's not that common. Normally Pokemon use their special attack, but yeah. uh, Intimidate lowers the physical attack. So um, that's part of the reason Braviary is here because everything on this team is physical. So Braviary is like Braviary is like the don't lead Intimidate against me Pokemon <laughs> basically. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And that's his ability Defiant. Exactly, because Defiant says if any stat is lowered, add two to attack. So if Intimidate lowers attack by one, then you get plus two for a net plus one. I gotcha. Um oh and for modifiers, like mine let's say we get minus one and then plus two. We don't like add mm-hmm. one to the denominator and then two to the two to the numerator. Yes, let's Do go they ahead. just cancel each other out? You exactly. It's the one. net change. So we it's okay. like minus one plus two is plus one, add one to the numerator. So if it was, let's say, 2 over 4 and you did a plus 2, you just get 2 over 2. Exactly. Gotcha. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, you're ca- dude, you're catching on fast. Thank you. <laughs> so it's a spectrum is what you're saying. Yeah, basically. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, do you have any other questions? Um, no. I, I think I got it all. Cool. So I think, so how I'm kind of figuring I think this will work is we'll just play some games. Um I will connect to the internet. I'm thinking the first game or maybe the first two games, depending if we want to do two or three, I'll pick the Pokemon for you because that can be really confusing. And then from there, we can kind of talk through what you want to be doing. Um, And then after that, you can try it for yourself. I do want to say, I unfortunately hit Master Ball rank and there's no way for me to go back down. So (laughs) if there's a good chance that we don't win any games, especially because like, I feel like people are really aware of this team because I've been using it a lot. That's Um, okay. But we're not, yeah. We're just here to have fun. Exactly. (laughs) Um, So, (laughs) yeah. So, if we don't win, it's it's not because like we're bad necessarily. It's just because yeah. it's because the opponents are good. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no, I understand. Don't worry. But it, one it, thing that interests me in Pokemon is my favorite thing in video games is or like competitive video games 
is always like theory and that seems to be so huge in pokemon like there's always something new to do exactly yeah exactly exactly so there's pokemon is cool because it operates on a metagame meaning like there's rarely a couple times it will happen but it's pretty rare that there, there's a pokemon that's just like absolutely better than everything else um yeah normally it's more like um it's more like what's popular gets countered mm-hmm. i so feel this- like with 900 poke i mean <laughs> 400 pokemon <laughs> <laughs> it, it would be hard to uh, have just one thing be better than everything else. Exactly. Yeah. There are Pokemon that kind of rise above when it's that big. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's talk through kind of what I'm thinking here when I look at this team. So we this team is like, it has a couple threats. Um, Oranguru mm-hmm. is normally a Trick Room Pokemon and Gallade can learn Trick Room as well, but it doesn't have that many yeah. sweeping Pokemon. Trick, so room, trick room would do very tr- well against like Dragon. It would do really well against... Because this team is built around speed, and Trick Room makes the slow Pokemon fast, so it's a hard matchup mm-hmm. for us. Um, gotcha. Because this team is overall not too fast, normally what I like to do against these kind of teams is lead Whimsicott Lucario. Uh, the reason yeah. being that if they're slow, then like if they don't lead Pokemon that can threaten Lucario immediately, then you can just immediately beat up, um, and you don't have to worry about going first. I was scared about speed, so I was thinking the same i was thinking on a much more simple plane but i was at least thinking the right direction all that matters is you get there so we're gonna bring uh dracovish because that's our best pokemon and then unfortunately like i said this team has some problems so the mm-hmm. last mod is never really clear to me um gotcha. braviary is not great here arcanine is actually not bad except for we have to watch out both my and corviknight are really good against intimidate so mm-hmm. um this is what always happens i run out of time so um we're just gonna bring we're gonna bring arcanine because i'm worried about the the other fossil to be full disclosure, I have no idea what the other fossil. The the, the Arcta Arctic Volt? Arctic Arctazolt? Yeah, that one. Arctazolt, yeah. I have yeah. no idea what it does. Like literally none. <laughs> um I like the stock <laughs> trading card. I said I would uh, I said I would update it once I hit a hundred thousand, so <laughs> Ooh, I like it. <laughs> I'm holding my subscribers <laughs> hostage. Let's That's see. what a good YouTuber just Oh, they use the beast ball just to flex. Just to flex, yeah. Alright. So what do you what, would you want to talk me through what moves you think you should do? Um, yeah, let, let me look at the the list you gave me. Yes. Um, with this, wouldn't you beat up Lucario, Dynamax? Uh, uh, what are the typings need, for the you, others? Exactly. So, Steel Spike raises your defense, and it's neutral mm-hmm. against both of them. And Fighting raises your attack, but is weaker than Steel, and it doesn't affect Drag Dragapult, and does it like. Does a pet affect Oranguru? Oh yeah, Ghost Dragon. That's a sick typing. It's a really cool typing. Who is the bigger threat here, though? I think Oranguru is the bigger threat personally because you really don't want Trick Room to go up, and Dragapult can't KO you in one. So would you want to use Steel Spike on him? I probably would. Cool. Let's do it. I said Dragapult can't OKO you. I'm I'm pretty sure, but I get surprised every once in a while. Um, I mean that's the thrill of a new game, right? Right. Exactly. Like you run into stuff you've never seen before. Dude, planning to smash ultimate for like the first three months was so fun because I got hit by the most gimmicky things ever. Right, things you like would never so even fun. expect, right? And I love it. It's so fun. It's really yeah. That's it's like so fun. <laughs> Getting lamed out sucks, but losing in a completely new way is so fun. Yes. Okay, so that's really that's really interesting. So they've used reflect here, which means that we're probably mm-hmm. not going to be able to one hit KO the orange guru. Yeah. Um, and justified what does that do so justified is what happens that's like the central strategy with lucario whimsicott is oh yeah time... okay you told me you told me yeah. exactly exactly so every time we get hit with a dark type move plus one mm-hmm. attack and we have it hits as many times as you have pokemon remaining who aren't affected by a status condition so we have four right now oh i did not know that's how it worked i've actually never seen dragapult with uh, with dual screens or with reflect i should say um mm-hmm. which makes makes me really curious because it's um it's not a common move and normally when people have this kind of like set lead it's like, they have some kind of strategy. I just don't know what it is. This is looking yeah. good a lot. Like, do they want Trick Room up? Like, I don't really know what's going on. But since all, all of Lucario's attacks should be physical, right? And then exactly. that Justify just makes them a physical tank at this point. And there's exactly. Trick Room, yeah. So, huh. So that's so basically, we need to make sure we stall out this Trick Room effectively. But it wasn't the worst turn. We got plus four attack, plus one defense, and we didn't take really any damage. Is it five turns? Five. So, but now it's four because the turn you set it counts. So you basically have to survive oh, for the next okay. four turns. Gotcha. Um, okay. So, yeah. So here are the moves again. Sorry, my face is always in the way. Um, so I can. T- I don't mind telling you the typings or like how much damage things. Will I do. think I, I. I know them at this point. Would okay. it be effective to moonblast a uh, dragapult? Mm-hmm. 
That's super effective. For, for the type efficacy, and then use, well, literally anything. The orange, the monkey. Yeah. Because I guess uh, if Max Knuckle, what is the passive on it? It raises your attack. So you can raise your defense. So would that be good to be plus five? I think we're trying to survive Trick Room. So honestly, in this situation, okay. I, I might use Steel, but it's kind of personal preference. I see. Okay. Yeah, we can use Steel Spike. That makes sense to me. You want to use it into the monkey? Yeah. Cool. Because yeah, so I don't think Moonblast would Oko, but... Exactly, yeah. So it probably won't Oko, but um, we do want to get the monkey gone because it's... The monkey's really threatening because it uh, it has a signature move called Instruct, and what Instruct does is it forces whoever it hits with it to use the, the attack that it just used again. Um, mm. Basically, like, a, it, like, yeah, so we don't want that thing to be using Instruct, basically. And also, Dragapult's really fast, and this person set Trick Room, so it's, it's not bad for us to have... Um, I see. Because it's going first. Like, we kind of actually want to keep it around, so that, like, what we were talking about with speed, um, mm -hmm. so that we can just, like, just, like, keep it around to KO it to protect ourselves for, like, one turn on our, on our own. I bet this is the fossil. Arctic Volt? Yep, Arctic Ar Zolt. Zolt. Volt? Yeah, sorry. Zolt? I actually don't know. Okay. <sighs> mm. So, um... Sorry, this is a tough so, match. This is a tough first match to play. I will say it's no. Not it's clear. okay. I'm interested. <laughs> yeah. I think I understand the basics. So Tailwind's off the table because it's the exactly. It's like the antithesis given Tail uh, Trick Room. Mm -hmm. uh, Energy Ball has no use. And then mm -hmm. I guess would you just want to Moon Blast and get Dracopold off? I think I might personally. Yeah. Um, and then since Arctic Volt is Ice, isn't Fighting super effective against it? Fighting and Steel are both. Oh yeah, Fighting is super effective because Electric is resistant to Steel. The only thing is you might get KO'd by Arctazolt here, so you do have to worry but about that. Would it happen either way? If you you can protect yourself with Max Guard and stall a turn if you want. Oh. But that's mm. a, that's you because you can also take because you're not going to be Dynamaxed at the end of this turn, so it's kind of yeah. up to you. Do you want to attack? Or I do you say Max play? Knuckle. I say Yolo it. Yes, Yolo it. I'm I'm down for it because yeah. honestly, you're not in a bad position at this point. I'm holding forward. Okay. They switched okay, out. Well, they're, yeah. That's probably fine. Like, we're, yeah. Ooh, my loading. Okay, so now we know all four of their Pokemon. Mm hmm. Ah, we do die, but that's okay. right. Yeah. Goodbye, Lucario. And the good news is, though, that you, um. Hmm. You, you managed to raise your, uh, Wounds Cost defense twice, which is pretty nice. Oh, yeah, because the max steel spike does it for the whole team. Exactly. So. Um, the problem is, because we have stupid Arcanine in the back, uh, yeah. Milotic is kind of a problem. Because if Arcanine will yeah. weaken one of them, but strengthen the other one. Um, um, so, as, yeah. The problem I guess is, fish? But then Trick Room's active. Yeah, so we have two turns left with Trick Room. Can I give you a, can I give you a cheat code here? Because this is like yes. a really tough matchup. I think what we yeah. want to do is go into Arcanine. Do you protect? And then switch out immediately into the fish, or protect. Kind of like, kind of again, personal preference. Both, yeah. are, both are good because, like, my load is a pain, but um, I just got punished for holding forward last time, so I now understand the essence of stalling. Yes. So basically, trick room teams are really. I, I'm kind of. It's a drag that we have to find as your first one because they're really complicated mm -hmm. to play against. Um, it's it's like the just very counter meta. Exactly. Would that be appropriate? Okay. It's very, it's very, it's very anti-meta, right? Because right now everyone's doing stuff like I'm doing, um, where they're just trying to power through. But mm -hmm. yeah, this is this is very different. So, um, what are you feeling this turn? Hmm. I'm gonna spoil and say we should probably we're gonna probably want to. I think we want to switch out. Wait, hang on. We can actually let me just check really quickly the how many turns of trick room are left. Two turns left of trick room. Okay. So um, yeah. Yeah, I. Hmm. Would it be? reasonable to do protect with arcanine and then switch out to fish with whimsicott oh we actually could do that yeah we could do that the only problem is that leaves us a sitting duck the next turn because like something has to take like they, they kind of threaten the ko on both okay Whim oh sorry so, whimsicott can't be one shot by anything if they want to get rid of whimsicott they have to double into it that's the oh, other thing okay then what if um protect arcanine and then energy ball melodic yeah. i knew you were getting there we're running out of time sorry, okay I, I, okay I cool yeah no i understand i got there Okay, here's where it gets tricky. This is... Okay, this is going to be tough. <laughs> okay, so they're Dynamaxing... I think Milotic. Unless okay. they could do... It actually might be better... Yeah, it is Milotic. Okay, that's going to make that's gonna make it tough for us. Yeah. She's, like, super super healthy, super big and specty, right? Exactly. So this thing is very, very bulky, and doubling its HP makes it oh, really hard for us. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. 
How much H is Chansey Blissey in this game? No, because I thank have a, God. Yeah, so I think literally they couldn't because if you Dynamax Blissey, it will have over a thousand HP. Yeah, <laughs> oh God, that's, that's what zero. I was gonna ask about. So that's remember how earlier we please don't use Ice Beam. Okay, that's good. So earlier when we um, early plus when two we, defense we, exactly when we use the second. Okay, uh, okay, <laughs> that was through protect. Uh, that was a lot of damage. Did not think it was gonna do that much. <laughs> oh, can you not protect? So, Dynamax, Dynamax Pokemon do, I think, a quarter of the damage they would do otherwise through Protect. Oh, Jesus. And that was a lot of damage. Um, <laughs> and that was not a lot of damage. However, uh -oh. we do have one really good thing going for us, and that it just set the rain, and we have Fish in the back. Uh-huh. So he could probably just take out Melodic right now. Honestly, I kind of feel like it could. So, um, yeah, what are you uh... feeling for this turn? Keep in mind, they cannot KO both your Pokemon most likely. Yeah. I think. Okay. I think. Can you press A for Whimsicott again? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, what if, like, in an attempt to get rid of Melodic, what if you did Energy Ball again and mm -hmm. then Extreme Speed? Because that goes first, correct? I, I honestly, I like that. Like, because I don't, I don't think they can KO both Pokemon. Does Extreme Speed go around Trick Room? Yeah, Extreme Speed will move first here. Okay. The other option you have is you could switch out Dracovish, Arcanine into Dracovish, but I don't know if I'd risk mm -hmm. it personally. Like, yeah. I mean, if you... Fish is supposed to be, like, the anchor here. Yeah. Yeah, the only problem is we might lose to Dragapult in the end. Um, I actually, like, I think we have to Tailwind here. Sorry, I just realized. I think in order to win, I think we actually uh -huh. have to Tailwind so we can beat the Dragapult. Um, ah, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. I, yeah, because I, <laughs> I forgot what they had in the back. So what they're trying mm -hmm. to do is they're trying to, like, position in a way that... Um, in a way that they can win with Dragapult at the end. But I think we can get around that if we use uh, Tailwind here. Because I think my Lodic will probably... Yeah. Extreme Speed was really smart there, by the way, because Bolt Beak works in the same way as Fish's Rend, and that if it moves first... Ah, oh, gotcha. Oh, they overwrote the rain. That's a shame. You hate to see it. But, yeah, okay. Bye-bye, Whimsicott. Yeah. So now we're actually not in a terrible position because we have Tailwind up and Trick Room just ended. So I'm sorry for overriding you there. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. You're fine. Um, I'm learning one way or another. Yes. Um, and I feel like... I feel like Oh, I forgot what they had Reflect. Oh, that was such good timing. Okay, that was really good timing. That was actually Reflect such good timing. Is physical, right? Reflect is physical, and both both of our last two Pokemon are physical. So oh, I didn't realize he was shiny. Yeah, so this this one, he wasn't originally, but I got traded to shiny one. So, um, what would you like to do? Uh, hmm. What about Ficious Rend on Melodic? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then, probably... Do you Flare Blitz on Arctic Fold because uh -huh. it's super effective? And it will KO, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm super down for that. Because now you should both of them should go first, given Tailwind. that Trick Room's off the table. Yeah, and Tailwind is up. Um, so the only thing is, we could, the other option there was we could have, in theory, doubled into Milotic. Um, mm -hmm. It just depends on how much we believe in the fish. Because this is this is Dynamax Milotic, which is like a very strong Pokemon. Um, yeah. So it kind of depends. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Yeah, a lot basically depends here on if we think uh, Dynamax by Lotus can serve. <laughs> you gotta believe, man. You I did. Oh, that's why I didn't. That's why I didn't override you because I did believe. <laughs> you gotta have faith in the fish. Man. Oh my god, the fish! Like that's that was Dynamax my Lotus. Like that is that my Lotus is <laughs> as you said a, a Pokemon known for being defensive, and this is a Trick Room team, meaning it doesn't have investment in speed. Okay, so, and now you have. Uh, we have two very... turns left of Tailwind. A very bloody Dragapult. Yes. And, so as, yeah, okay. Unfortunately, Fish will get one shot if it... Nope, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so if he had moved first, we would have lost there. So that's why... And that's why Whimsicott's Prankster... Whimsicott... I'm sorry. So the the, uh, the ability... Exactly. Grimmsnarl's Prankster. I forgot to mention, Whimsicott also has it. So that's why Tailwind went first. At the oh, end of the game yeah, gotcha. There. And that... Because we had Tailwind up, then Dracovish was able to outspeed Dragapult. So is Tailwind plus two for your team, not just like the Pokemon out? So like if we throw fish into it, it's still like a slipstream of exactly. plus two. Exactly. Exactly. I'm actually curious. Hmm. Let's just take a look That's at the stupid. team. That's stupid. It is stupid. Okay, it was Sash Dragapult, <laughs> and it didn't have uh, Protect. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, honestly, dude, like, you picked up on that really fast. Um, nice. Yeah, like, like you, I feel like you, like... You made every right call, and then, like, I overrode you with the Tailwind stuff, but that's, like, something that you have to be playing, like, that's not something, I don't think, I don't yeah, think anybody I'm would have picked I'm up I'm not going to know for my first Trick Room team. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm down to try um, another, if you want. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do you, like, do you, um, do you have any questions after that game is over, or anything? Uh, is there anything you can do to not have a Trick Room team? 
<laughs> um, we can pray. No, just kidding. We no. can pray. <laughs> the Trish Hunter teams are okay because we have um top five hundred, dude. They're top five hundred in the world. Oh, do you have music yeah. preference? I use Gym Leader, but we can change the music if you want. Oh, I can't hear it at all. I really like Marnie theme. I think okay, that's my favorite that song. Okay, you Marnie can do Marnie too. too. Yeah. yeah, I heard that one is good. I can't really hear it either. I have my volume too low, but I think that's okay. I'm, I always am worried I'm gonna overwrite. I can turn it up a little bit. We can do it live. It's a banger song. Where is it? Turn it up a little bit. I'm sorry, you won't be able to hear it when you watch it back. I'll, I'll just go back and watch it. It's, yeah. I'll play it in another tab right yeah, now. Yeah, dude, honestly, that's the power-up we need. <laughs> um, and the only thing is sometimes it takes a while YouTube. to find an opponent, but I think we should be okay. Yeah, high elo <laughs> problems, right? Yeah, it's shaking my head. Okay, this... Envy the waifu. I don't know what that means, but I'm not sure. Oh, I think it's a... Um, seven deadly sins like thing. a very similar team. Extremely similar. So, they have Whimsicott beat up... Uh, sorry, Whimsicott Lucario, and they have Grimmsnarl Fish. Bro, they could be your 100k sub. They could be my 100k sub. <laughs> Please, subscribe WolfieVGC slash VGC slash Wolfie. Um, <laughs> what would you like to do here? Do you want to pick the Pokemon, or do you feel more comfortable with me doing um, it? So, the only three Pokemon in, like, the competitive s side of Sword and Shield I've dabbled with are Whimsicott, Dracovish, and Lucario. Okay. So <laughs> I just kind of watched your couple videos and was like, uh -huh. I get it. <laughs> so Why you can we... pick the fourth. Okay, you want to do... Okay, cool. We can do yeah. that. The other, do you, well, do you want to try? I know it's getting a little late. Do you have time? You, we should probably end after this one, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm uh, done for to finish this. So I got yeah. Marnie theme playing in the background, man. I can heck, do anything. Yeah, heck yeah. So do you want to try the other mode, just like so you have experience with more than yeah, three Pokemon? sure, go for it. Let's do it. So this is Braviary Grimmsnarl, um, mm -hmm. Fish, and then as usual, I have no idea what to bring in the back. I actually think this time, so they have four Pokemon week to Lucario. Wait, one, two, three, four Pokemon. Let's bring Lucario. Okay. They have my Lodic, so this time at least we won't give it a boost no matter what. Because it's well, still Dynamax Lucario with this team? No, so normally, and this is the problem with how I built it, is that Arcanine is not coming most of the, or like Arcanine is not what it needs to be. Um, yeah. The way that I was doing it is, is you lead Lucario, Whimsicott, or you lead Braviary, Grimmsnarl, and then you either Dynamax Lucario or you Dynamax Braviary. So in this mode of the team, we would we would uh, Dynamax Braviary. Okay. And we just is have Lucario. Like Even though Lucario is not as good here, like, we still have it. Oh. Oh, they have a shiny too. Wow. Square shiny. Oh, really? I didn't even look. Okay. So, what are your thoughts when you see this? Um, I feel like I actually know what they want to do because I have played that team. That's right. So, um, I would use something with Grimmsnarl so he goes first. Therefore, right. Dracovish doesn't get his buff with Fish's Rend. Exactly. So, that's a good thing. So, so you, you can boo you. You probably either want to boost one of your stats. Was it Reflect, because Dracovish is physical. Right, we could, yeah, do you want to use Reflect here? That's physical, right? Yeah, that's physical. The other option yes. is you can Thunder Wave the Whimsy. You can Thunder Wave the Dracovish to make it slow, but Reflect is safer, mm -hmm. probably. I like Reflect. Let's do it. Okay, and then with Braviary, most of the time we want to max and use this one. Max Airstream? Yeah, just like fire. And do you want to get rid of the Whimsicott or the Dracovish first? It's tricky in this case. I'm not sure. You can, you can choose. Up to you. Um... I would say we have a more likely chance of killing Whimsicott, right? Yeah, it's probably Focus Sash. We probably can't kill okay. either of them, but we need to get uh, Whimsicott twice at some point regardless. Okay, then yeah, Whimsicott. Let's do it. The interesting thing about Dracovish is it doesn't really like to Dynamax because its special attack, like, it doesn't it doesn't carry that attack over when it Dynamaxes. Mm -hmm. So, like, when you play for, when you have enough, like, games played, you recognize, like, oh, neither of my opponents are likely to Dynamax here. I like Reflect there. I normally go for Thunder Wave, but I actually think Reflect might be better. Um, Why so? Because so because of this. So if our opponent predicted us most likely to Thunder Wave, and they wanted Dracovish to go first. Um, so we would have Thunder Wave cut Dracovish's speed in half, and then we would have used, and then they would have used Tailwind, which doubles their speed. So they probably still would have moved first. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah, okay, that's Choice Band because we had Reflect and we moved first. So <laughs> that's uh, good to know. <laughs> how, how much of a buff is Choice Band? One point five times. It's, a, gotcha. it's effectively a plus one. Mm -hmm. um, so you know I said Whimsicott were Focus Sash? Yeah. Yeah, I lied. Oh. So oh. honestly, not a bad not a bad trade. We got a plus one speed boost. Our Grimmsnarl is still alive. We have seven turns left to reflect because of our item. Oh, Luc wow. That's wow. That's a lot. And yeah, Shiny Lucario? Yeah, wow. I've never seen Shiny Lucario. I actually like it. So both these Pokemon are physical attackers. Okay. And we already have Reflect up, so this might be a good yeah. time to launch, like, a Thunder Wave. 
Okay, because you can't stack Reflect, right? Exactly, it doesn't stack. So, yeah, probably uh, Paralyzed Dracovish. I agree, that thing is... Let's get that thing out of here. Um, and... Uh, but, Max Airstream is... Yeah. Effect, uh, da, ba, ba, ba. So Airstream is... They're both good. Airstream is stronger against Dracovish, and Knuckle yeah. is stronger against Lucario. Um, they're honestly both good. It's kind of a personal preference. They're probably... I have a feeling they're going to Max Lucario here. So if they're going to Max Lucario... So would you probably you be can't one-shot it. Yeah, but if you're going to have to deal damage eventually, would it be right to Max Knuckle Lucario, or is I, it safer to Max Airstream Dracovish? I like Max Knuckle here, because if we're moving first, like, I'm not I'm not that okay. worried about Dracovish, especially because we're Dynamaxed. Yeah, um, okay. And getting, like, plus one speed, plus one attack on Braviary basically means, um, oh no, they don't Dynamax. I don't think we love that. Unfortunately not. So that's, that's a priority move, that's, like I mentioned before. Okay. Yeah. So whenever multiple characters have priority with moves like Extreme Speed, Quick Attack, and then the Prankster ability, mm -hmm. what it, does it just determine natural speed stat? So there's actually seven different... Well, there's... Okay, there's actually, I think, 14 different levels of priority. That sounds more confusing than it is. Basically, mm -hmm. you know how you know how moves are like plus one, plus zero, etc. Or like plus one, plus yeah. zero uh, for stats? This, it works the same with priority. So the problem is that Lucario's Bullet Punch is plus one, which is the same speed tier as Grim Snarl's Prankster. So basically, okay. all po all moves start out. Oh, oh um, who who would you like to go into here? Um, I don't know myself. I, <laughs> I I'd say fish. I like fish here actually, because their fish doesn't hit our fish as strong as hard. Yeah, only oh, have my Lodic too. Yeah, that's good. Jesus, this guy's hacking. Dude, yeah, no, he's just a dude, he's just a shiny hunter. Because actually in this game, like, it's if you get a shiny, you can just like you can actually uh like use it competitively. Um Oh yeah, that's dope actually. Basically okay. all well actually let's choose our move and then I'll explain priority. So this um, this option I think I understand it though. So like yeah. quick attack, extreme speed, they're on like different tiers than like prankster and everything. Exactly. Like that. And then with you you move in the order within your tier. So most moves are plus zero, so you, that's why speed is important, but Grim Snarl is I like, understand. Prankster gives it plus one speed tier, but so bullet if punch is the same moves speed. are in plus one, then it's, then it's speed. speed. Stat. Exactly. So bullet okay. punch is the same speed tier as prankster. Um but probably Fish's Rand on the Melodic? So we're slower now. So Fish's Rand is actually... Oh. Are we, because, of, because of their Tailwind, I think they have two turns left. So we might want to crunch here. Just Okay. Um, and your Choice Banded into it? Yeah, but it's Crunch is pretty good against both these guys. Um, okay. You want to crunch the Melodic? Yeah. I'm not really scared of their Fish right now. Okay. And... If we probably... don't protect, we'll die. So you might want to protect. Okay, the Max Guard. Yeah, let's do it. They're probably going to Dynamax Melodic, actually, now that I think about it. Okay. Oh god, they're gonna Dynamax my Lodic and set the rain. <laughs> this is gonna so, be tricky. Here, what is the? Okay, so if we're guarding, so we don't die. What are the odds we just die next turn, anyways? A hundred percent. Oh, they then Dynamax the we... fish. Why are we uh, stalling out the inevitable? Because so if we die this turn, then we um. If we die, oh, they probably got a dragon move on that thing. Ah, uh, uh, I see, I see. So, I see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, it, so, um, oh, Ice. Oh, Max Hailstorm. Ice Fang. Um, so if we Dynamax, the, like, we're, we're basically, we're stalling the inevitable because of Tailwind. We want Tailwind to go away. Oh, okay, okay. Is How many turns does Tailwind last? They have one, it has, it's four turns. One shorter than Trick Room, so they have one turn after this. Okay. So we lived. We lived, yeah. We actually, we actually didn't even take that much damage thanks to Reflect, mm -hmm. and we did a. That's a really nice amount of damage due to my Lodic because it should be in range of another Crunch thanks to Hail. Okay, so then one more Crunch will kill it, mm -hmm. and probably uh, Fish is not taking a terrible amount of damage from that. Yeah, and they will. They also have to. They also have to devote an attack this turn to hit Braviary. Yeah. Um, it's not impossible is what you're telling me. We're not in... It could be better, but it could be worse So well. you have to crunch. Uh-huh. And... Yeah. You have a 1 in 3 chance, so basically you get to make a choice here. If you get this... You have a 1 in 3 chance of getting the double protect, in which case you'll almost certainly win. Oh, I'll get the protect. Okay, cool. Um, Just tell Dude, me when, because what? I think... Do you have a number you like? Like, is there a number we should a hit A at? Like, on the move timer? Uh, That's how I choose at the moment. I, I wait for, like, a lucky I, number. Four. I like four. The... So, here's the thing. Yeah. I, my luck is phenomenal. Really? Yeah, go check out my Mario Party combo video. <laughs> I will after this. <laughs> Alright. 
Oh, are we I'll waiting? Get this double protect. You we're, we're gonna we're gonna wait till four, right? Oh, four. Okay. What did you What did you really say? Stalling it out. I, I mean, thought like you for like a fourteen or a twenty-four. Oh, we're doing four. But we'll wait till four. Yeah. We're coming ready at this point. This is how I do it in VGC. I always get it when I do this. <laughs> Oh, oh, I can't believe it. I've never <laughs> seen such bad luck in my entire life. <laughs> okay, I was just talking now. up my Mario Party game. Today. But if it had worked, can you imagine? Yes, I can. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, there's. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So they're stalling hmm. here, which is fine. Okay. Their tailwind is gone, but unfortunately, we are still slow. Um, yeah, things don't look great. They're I would not. Say. Honestly, I've seen worse. I'm gonna be completely honest. So, it's like because I see this like how I see Smash, right? Right. It, it, oh, I forgot we had Lucario. Never exactly. Mind. Exactly. Oh, if we only okay. had one, yeah, we'd definitely be dead. And if we had Arcanine, we'd also be dead. So it's a good thing yeah. we have Lucario. And their tailwind is up, I believe. Let's just check. Because I was like trying to process like how two v ones work in Smash and like right. the mentality behind it. But we, we can scrap that for now. Right. So, so, Crunch Melodic again? Crunch Melodic. Okay, we, yeah, we can do that. Basically, do you think Melodic's going to recover this turn? That's the real question here. Because if you do, you should Crunch Dracovish. I really like to play the psyche of players in right. games I touch in. And I would like to think that they are very comfortable with where they're at right now. Okay. So I'm going to call the bluff on the lack of recover. Okay, I think we should protect Okay. Personal opinion, because I think that we're, we'll stall out their Dynamax. This is their last turn of Dynamax. Yeah. Um, Lucario will get one shot pretty much regardless. Let's see what they go for. Ooh, okay. Well, they didn't recover. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but so it's still kind of a waste of turn all around. Well, kind of. So we took some damage on Lucario, which doesn't really matter, because here's the thing. Here's the secret here. So... Milotic has revealed Protect, Icy Wind, and Recover, right? Yes. And you've shown them that you want to get rid of this Milotic and that you are ignoring Dracovish. So, if they have Protect, Icy Wind, Recover, they've got to have a water move on there as well, right? Uh-huh. And so they probably can't touch your Dracovish, meaning if you can get rid of their Dracovish, you'll win this game, I think. Okay. So a lot of, like, the meta of this, or just Pokemon as a whole, is trying to identify your team. It's just, like... Exactly. Okay. Exactly. I'm trying to think of a word for it, but it's just... Uh, it's like when you, as the player, the mm -hmm. antithesis of that exact phenomenon, you are trying to not show your hand. Exactly. So we... And we've kind of conditioned them in a sense, right? Like, you just yeah. attacked into Milotic two or three turns in a row. Um, three turns in a row. So now they're like, well, like, they're probably just gonna... Like, they could, of course, double into your... They could do something weird here, but I think we should just double the Dracovish, if, that's, if yeah. that's cool with you. Okay. Okay. No, no, like, it's starting to click for me now, yeah. because... It's like as soon as you start bringing up like conditioning, and then it's like it's a turn-based game, so it's like hard for me to understand conditioning in the same right. way like smashes. It's not the exact like, same, yeah. No, I'm starting to understand it, and I understand the comparison you said in DMs earlier of how it's like poker. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we do lose Lucario there, but the thing is, my Lodic will probably recover. Oh, it's Skulls. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we we probably win this as long as we don't get burned. Um, that could be unfortunate. Okay, so nice. well, it's gonna be close. Is the short version. I don't because I yeah. actually this is gonna be really close because we took a lot of damage. Um, but yeah, and actually, what we did there was actually our, our best move, regardless, because um, because close, close combat couldn't KO my Lodic, so I think we were actually better just like hitting the like yeah, so we like we were never gonna KO my Lodic anyway. So they only have a water move, which is not very effective, right? And, and they have icy wind, which is not very strong. Yeah, it's only I don't I don't know I know it's weak though. It's it's pretty so weak, yeah. They are trying to stall us out while recovering. They want I that to happen. So they the, the game yeah. just ends here because once we drop a stat, it's that competitive is the same as Braviary's Defiant, but for special attack. Okay. So now we're in an interesting position. I think I I think unfortunately our our fish is not very bulky, so I think we're probably gonna lose here. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm not letting you choose a move because we're locked into crunch, so we have no. No, choice no, I completely crunch. understand. I know yeah. we don't have a choice. Um, and also, when it's a one v one, it's not like I really have options right. here. Right. Yeah. So they're just want another turn of uh, recovery. I think with the boost and how much the first Icy Wind did, I think it's going to be close, but I have a feeling we're going to die. This is clearly a different Milotic than the last one. This one's intended to be bulkier, I think. Um, yeah. One more Crunch will KO because of the defense drop, so it doesn't look as hopeless as it is. However, 
basically it's a question of can you survive whatever move they want to hit you with and if it's scald which you will survive i think you'll no, you'll definitely survive the scald but will you get burned melodic um, feels real lame and i like that i like my melodic as well i've used it i've used it a bit my melodic is like braviary but the defensive version Skull yeah. comes out, so I believe we will live this, unless I'm crazy. So it, it, you have a two and third chance to win this. Yes. I think you win. I'm pretty sure Crunch KOs from here. Really? You went 2-0. Oh. Yeah, because you, yeah! you, 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 you dropped their defense. Yeah. And so that was that's why that was an interesting uh, an interesting thing. Oh, wow. That was, <laughs> that was close, right? That was very close. I like the thrill of it. I get it now. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, I'm trying to like, think of how I want to do a team. Yeah. Because I really like Drakovich Wimpsicott. Lucario, mm -hmm. and I kind of just I kind of want to do that three plus melodic after today. You could, you could totally do that because melodic has icy wind, which lowers opponent speed stats, which is like basically. Oh, that's perfect. Exactly. So using Dracovish is all about speed control. Like, so we have yeah. Thunder Wave, Tailwind, Tailwind, but you could have Tailwind, Icy Wind, and some other stuff as well. So like, if you have, so if you had like Whimsical Lucario mm -hmm. in front, and then Dracovish melodic in the back, and then if you go into the like. Icy Wind with Tailwind on the field? Yeah. You're definitely on speeding stuff. But Icy gotcha. Wind and Tailwind together are good, like... Like, another thing you could do is you could do, like, Milotic Whimsicott lead. Um, and then you could, like, use... Like, if the opponent has a Whimsicott, for example. And that mm -hmm. way you could Tailwind and Icy Wind in the same turn. So that way, like... You know in that match they said Tailwind? The reason we didn't lead our Whimsicott was because, like... We didn't want to get in that awkward thing where we both lead Whimsicott and we both Tailwind and then nobody's faster. So instead we tried yeah. to, like, outbulk them and stall out their Tailwind and win that way. Um... But their fish was just so strong that it made it hard for us. But, um, yeah, so, but with Icy Wind, you can Tailwind and Icy Wind, break Whimsicott's Focus Sash, and gain speed control. Um, but, yeah, if you wanted, like, we could totally, like, I'd be super down to do this again, or if you wanted to, like, Oh, the yeah, team no, and, I'd love to try this again. I'll yeah. play next, I'll bring my own team next time. Excellent, yeah, we can also, like, I'm super down, if you wanted to do a team building video for your channel, or if you wanted to do it just privately in DMs, like, I don't know if team building is exactly your, uh, like, I don't know yeah. if that's something you're interested in, but yeah, like, we, I'm super down to help be, you, basically. I would be interested in doing so. I don't know if that content would so much fly on my channel. Right, I understand. But I'd be down to do it in my own time. Yeah, yeah, we, I mean, we can do it. I love, like, I'm really happy that you seem to be enjoying this game, and I love when people, like, mm -hmm. it's such a cool game, and there's so much going on, and, like, I don't know, like, I just like when people learn about it and, like, get to experience yeah. that I really enjoy, so, um, Trust yeah. me, the more I understand this, I'm going to be coming up with the most gimmicky bullshit i possibly there's can there's <laughs> so much cool thing actually i'll send you a video after this um i once i was in i won a tournament set mm -hmm. and with a strategy called normalized trap where you um you basically use skill swap to switch abilities you pass del caddy's normalize which turns all of the user's attacks into normal type attacks you force mm -hmm. that on both of your opponent's pokemon and then you have only ghost types and you have a uh, shadow tags so they can't oh, switch they can't play exactly and you i'll send you the video because it's all it's recorded and it's like mm -hmm. it's so like you can do so much cool stuff like there's so many especially in doubles like singles is super cool as well but like with combinations and stuff there's so many unique strategies and so many cool gimmicks that you can do like beat up plus justified is it's technically a gimmick but it's pretty good this year so far yeah it seems um but there's so I much really stuff like, like that i really do like hatterene as a pokemon yeah it's so really good. i was Oh, is it actually good competitive? Because mm -hmm. I could see it like on a Trick Room team because exactly. it's like at really low speed. Yeah, so people are using um, Hatterene and Didi. Um, because is it Hatterene? I, say, I, I think it's Hatterene, but I mispronounce okay. it and say Hatterene. Yo, I put up a tier list video today of like yeah. me ranking all the Galar Pokemon, and everyone gave me hell for mispronouncing every single name. <laughs> I relate to that. Actually, no, I, I always pronounce every Pokemon correctly, and, and my comments will agree with me. Um, <laughs> um, but dude i yeah i pronounced like eldgoss like i read it as like my fire emblem brain was like edelgard oh that's sick edelgoss yeah i like that that's way that's way cooler all right but yeah i'm gonna head out yeah. thanks again for having me though I'm, I'm down to do this again if the people like it yeah absolutely thank you so much for being here i had a, I had a really I hope good time my questions helped other people ask. yeah yeah let us i, know hope down I asked the questions people felt too stupid <laughs> to ask themselves i think I, th I felt like this was a really big success so thank you so much for being here um i really appreciate it i don't know why he was yelling that not. thank you for being here but yeah <laughs> that's the end of the video thank you for watching please eat a breakfast tomorrow it's an important meal goodbye <laughs>